Hello, this is Raymond Mayfield. I'm so glad you tuned in today. I hope I bless you today with the words I've got to say because I believe they're important words and good words. My story comes from the third chapter of the book of Acts. Peter and John went to the temple to pray. It was nine o'clock in the morning and there was a lame man there. And that lame man had been there since he had been born. And he was carried to the temple so he might receive some things, some handouts to help him to make it. And Peter and John came along and they looked at him and the situation and Peter said, look on us. And he did. And when he looked up on him, he said, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. And immediately he took him by the right hand and a miracle happened. His ankle bones received strength, and every part of his body was healed from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. For folks, I want to tell you, Jesus is a miracle worker. He gave power to the disciples to lay hands on the sick. His ministry told the disciples to go everywhere and spread the good news, pray for the sick, do all the things you can uh, healing and get people saved and things that they needed. And so Peter and John were doing just exactly what Jesus said. And that man leaped up and ran through the te temple, leaping and praising God and praising God for the great miracle he had. Folks, I want to tell you, I think sometimes we limit God. God can do mighty things if we'll just trust him and believe on him. He is our healer. He's our deliverer. He can save you. If you need to be saved today, He can save you. That's so important to realize that we've got a mighty God that's with us every day, that loves us so much that He cares about us. And He's even concerned about that lame man that lay at the temple. There are other miracles throughout the New Testament that Jesus performed. He went about healing the sick, raising the dead, there's so many great things that he did, and uh, we should love him and appreciate him for the miracles that he did. But we need to, most of, more than the miracles, we need to understand that he is the son of the living God. He lives forever, and if you will turn your life over to God, you will be able to live with him forever and live in eternity. All you have to do is confess your sins and repent and ask him to come into your life. And the great Holy Spirit comes into your life and strengthens your heart. And I thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today. And I'll talk to you again real soon.